G'day everyone. This morning I woke up and thought, hmm, I've got the day off. What will I do? Well, I go bushwalking, fishing, crayfishing, do some photography. In the end, I decided I might go out and put some cray nets in, then go for a walk around the bush with my camera between checking nets and see if I can uh, do some wildlife photography. It's actually getting overcast quite quickly and the wind's picking up. I don't know whether that's going to affect the crayfish or not. Soon find out. Do a spider check on the blundstones. Rightio. I don't have any lamb hearts this week. I've just got, uh, I've got five nets. I don't know whether I'll put all five in, but I've got five nets. And I've got two lamb's fries. Let's divide up five ways. So I'll do one three ways and one two ways. Because I'm putting three nets in at once here, I'll do this one three ways, I think. Not very big. Maybe I might just cut them in half and just run four nets. <laughs> might be the best option. <laughs> I don't think it's super deep here, but I'm going to put my foot on the float or the, the cord just in case. Oh, beautiful. Not super deep, but definitely deep enough. I can wrap my float around this stick just so the wind can't blow it away. Right, uh, net number one is in. I really like these two nets, I think they're in quite a good place. The two cranets are about four kilometers upstream. <laughs> They're not even close together. Rightio. Mm, look at that, all that blood. Yum. Oh no. Oh, bugger. I've just realized that I've left an $850 camera sitting on the bank taking a time lapse <laughs> up where my other nets are. <laughs> if any light fingered thief comes past and sees that they're going to think all their Christmases have come at once <laughs> I better go straight back to my other nets after I uh, after I put these, these in <laughs> oh, well, good, ex good excuse to check my nets like 10 minutes after they were put in It's not overly deep just there. I'll give them one, one or two goes and then if uh, there's no craze then I'll move them. I'll move it. Rightio. My nets are in there on that bend. I better go back up to the other bend where my other nets are. Check my camera. <laughs> right, oh, is my camera still here? Oh yeah, there it is. Is it still going or has the battery gone dead? No, she's still going. 261 photos. You're not going to believe this. I've just come back up to the first two nets I put in to make sure that my camera was still sitting on the bank and then realised that my knife isn't in the bucket. I've left my knife down at the other nets. <laughs> Forget me head if it wasn't screwed on. Still got me a lucky 50 cent coin there, just rolling around on a bit of blood. Yeah, these nets have only been in about 20 minutes or so. So I'm not expecting anything 
drastic. And that's what I caught. Nothing drastic. Oops, I've got my hand caught on the knot. These nets are in quite a lot deeper than the other two nets though, so I've got higher expectations for these two. I've got one, look. Ooh, it's a nice cray. <laughs> Ooh, it's a nice male. I could, have, I could have a legal male here. Let's do the uh, eye. The eye to tail measurement. It is. Ow. It is. Is right in. Smack bang. Look at that, a legal size Murray crayfish. Your little beauty. What I might do is put a bit of water in the blood bucket. Now crayfish are amphibious. They can they can breathe out of water for a very long time. But the trick is, if you're going to put them in a bit of water, you don't want too much. The cray needs to be able to get his head out of the water. So look at that. He can get his head underwater if he wants water and out of the water. Now, if I get two legal size crays, I might take them for a feed, because I'm allowed two. But if I just get the one, or I'm most likely I'll put him back. See how we go. Oh look, there's my knife. Looks like some kind of a murder weapon. <laughs> so, something from a murder scene. And there's my cord. I'll go and check my nets again. Well, right, I'll check this one first, it's been in the longest. By about two minutes. Any claws? No claws. I'll give him one more go here. For some reason I don't particularly like this spot. For some reason I forgot to make that cord a bit shorter. That's alright, let's hit the bottom. I might move my now I think I might move them. I don't like this spot. I'm moving back closer to my other nets. Then I'll go and do some photography. How deep is that? Ooh. Oh. I'll get a crayfish there, I reckon. I like that spot. <clears throat> Right now, once again, these nets have not been in as long as they should have been. I really do need to work on my patience. Patience has never been a strength of mine. <laughs> oh, I've got, oh, look at the size of this one. It's a huge, it's will either have eggs or it'll just be an oversized male. There we go, look at that. That is a big female with eggs. Have a look at that. Check that out. That's a big female, similar size to the big one that I caught last week. That had no eggs, but this one's a big ma a big female with eggs. You can see the eggs under the tail. See the red eggs? She's going back in the water right now. You are huge. <laughs> see a load of love. That's so cool. You and I, we're always on the edge. We fight and make love at the same time. 
break up just because I told you What I did last night I recall the times you said you're sorry I'm still not sure if you told lies Right now there's a voice inside my head telling me that there's going to be four crayfish in this net Tell you what <laughs> That voice inside my head wasn't claws and far off look at that There's three in the one net and they're all quite good. I think they're all undersized though If any are going to be legal it's going to be that one but even then I think he's going to be just under Let's have a look. Bit disappointed though, because the meat has gone. That happens sometimes in crane nets, and I've got no spare meat. So I'm down down to three nets. Come on. Right, let's check this one first. Eighty-five. Back in the drink. On your bike. Now if this one's under size, then so too will the other one be. He's actually not. He's actually. Oh, hang on. Maybe, oh, don't cut me tape in half. Uh, that's not going to help my cause. Please let go. If I grab this, you'll open it and try and bite me. What if I grab this one? Right. I'm going to have to hold your claws for a measurement, mate. He is... He's in. He's in at 95. I've got my two males. I've got to feed a freshwater crayfish. How good is that? How good is that? Little one, he's probably about, probably 80, maybe a bit less. See ya, buddy. Just one more measurement on you, mate, if that's okay. Oi! To the back. 95. Oh, it's right on 90. Look, he's right on 90, that guy. I'm not... Yeah, I might put him back, I think. He's just... He's right on the limit. I don't want to leave myself open to being fine because if he measures up under size, then I've got no excuse. So he's right on the dot. I don't have to keep him. He can go back. And I might just get a bigger one. Something that sits a bit more comfortably inside the slot limit. Awesome. Three in one net, but unfortunate that now the meat's gone. I tell you what, it's a very good thing that I didn't keep that last crayfish that was right on 90 mils because the minimum size limit is 100 mils. <laughs> he was well undersized, he was a full centimetre undersized. The size limit used to be 9 centimetres or 90 millimetres from the eye of the tail. And I think that's where I got the 90 from. I think that's why I thought he was just in. That he was, uh, he was well under because the new size limit is 100 mils. Imagine if I'd kept it. And then thinking it was size, and then it measured at 91, and I thought, yeah, beauty is in. And then the fisheries inspector said, no, minimum 100, you're caught with an undersized cray. Bang. Always know the rules, folks. I know them and still got it wrong. Right, Diana, this is the net that had the big female in it earlier, with all the cackleberries under her tail. Ooh, oh, 
hope this is a male because if it is, it'll be in size, I reckon. Nah, it's a female. Another female. Not many eggs, only a few. But she has got eggs. Say it, darling. <laughs> oh, whoops, she's done a backflip. She'll be right. Amazing creatures, look at that, she's up on her feet, no worries at all. Off she goes. There's a big ledge just out there. Have I still got meat in my net? Yes, beauty. Because I lost the meat in my other net before. Okay, so I've caught six. Three of which came from the one net. In the one pool. What about this one? Be a monster in here, I reckon. A monstrous bit of meat. <laughs> I thought I might have a monster in there, but I was wrong. I thought I was wrong once, but I wasn't. I was wrong. Right, yeah, I'm back at the Hattrick Hole. This is the hole that uh, delivered the goods with those three crazy in the one net before. I've taken this net out. This is the one that was down around the corner in that spot that I didn't have a great deal of faith in. I've taken this net out of that spot and put it in this spot because I really like this spot. <laughs> Rightio, once again my level of patience is on display. These nets haven't been in very long. <laughs> right, we've got an empty net. I like to give the nets about an hour. But I seem to get to about the 20 minute mark. <laughs> Half an hour max, I think. That'll do close enough. Just because I'm an impatient little child. <laughs> Right now this is the super net, this is the king cray hole, I've only had one pull out of here and I've got three in the one pull, this is my second pull from this hole, I've got one, an undersized cray, I haven't actually seen any really small crayfish today, I've seen you know, half a dozen around this side, this size, which were pushing legal years ago, thankfully they're not now. See ya, buddy. See <laughs> the claws going down. And thankfully, I've still got the bait. Okay. Can the King Cray hole deliver? This is my third pull from this hole. I'm yet to have a pull without a cray in it. Have I got any this time? No, this is me first, me first empty net from this hole. Where are you, big crawdads? Come to poppy. Oh, nothing. Come on, crawdads. Nothing again. Alrighty, and I pull this in, the meat's coming out, and the net's going home, and so am I. Have I got a monster? On the outside! Oh, <laughs> I've got two monsters! Look at that, that has to have eggs, surely. That is huge, he's on the wrong side of the net. Look at the size of that. I'm really hoping this other one here doesn't have eggs, because it could possibly be a legal cray. Look, the meat's already out. Well, I'll check this one first. That is a male cray, beauty. This is a female. A very tangled one. Look at that. See all the eggs? Just out of curiosity, how big is this female? Look 
that female is 120 from her eye to her tail. See you darling. Off you go. Now is this 100? It's got to go close. <laughs> Gotta love it when you pull a net up and it's got like multiple crayfish in it. Just let go. Just let go already. I'm not giving me a chance to measure him actually if he's gonna hold on to stuff. Yeah, ten and a half centimeters. Might have even been a little bit bigger. Sort of hoping that if I hold his claw, more than spoil him to let go. There he goes. Right, nice male, no eggs. What have we got here? Nearly 11. Ten and a half. Ten and a half centimetres. You ripper. I've got my bag limit of crayfish. I've got my two legal size male crays. And I'm going home a happy man. Rightio everyone, thank you very much for watching. I've had the best day. I haven't had the best as in huge record breaking numbers of crayfish. I've just had a fantastic day. I've caught and released probably three or four big females with eggs. I've caught half a dozen males that were undersized. And I've actually kept two legal sized crayfish, which I'm entitled to do if they're between 10 centimeters and 12 centimeters. The ones I've got are both about 10 and a half centimeters. They're both legal. I don't keep very many things. I have catch and release a lot of Murray cod, trout and whatnot. It's quite rare for me to keep a fish. Quite often I'll keep a feed of redfin out of a lake or a feed of yellow belly out of a lake if it's stocked. But it's rare for me to keep a fish locally around here. So today I've decided to keep a couple of crays. I haven't eaten crays. I had one last year actually. I ate one last year. It was the first one for about 10 years. And now I'm going to eat two. And I'm excited. Even if the crayfish aren't.